Yasa has the one of the largest thieves of uh, Sakura arms for sure, in terms of the way the games can go, uh, without egregious tricks. I mean, Sine, I mean, Yatsuha has tricks, but it's not in the, it's not like a trick where it's like, aha, I final blow you. It's like, aha, you have, oh, by the way, there's three reflections, you die. And it's like, oh, whoops. And then you just lose and you feel really sad about it. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the deck. I, I don't know how good Shadow Wings here. I don't know if you're allowed to bring back Step and Shadow Wings. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, bring I am okay, not taking the, the more defensive option with Shadow Wall. Uh, I don't know. I don't work. know if you need that, but. It it could it'll do work I'm sure. That's the thing I don't like about Himika in particular. She's so balls to the wall that it almost just feels like you have to go fully offensive, or else Himika really does fizzle out towards the mid to late game, until you've got like ex but you get one more Exodia with your um with your so the one that lets you draw two and discard one, you're allowed to then like play a bunch of cards, to string together like some offense. But your two power points in the game are basically the first cycle or two. Maybe really just first cycle, if your opponent plays correctly. And then the turn that you play Scarlet Visions to draw more cards. Those are your big, like, two, like, massive swings with Himika. And outside of that, it does feel like the turns where your opponents are, like, R2, and you're kind of just sitting there, and you have a bunch of high range attacks does not feel very good. Because, of course, in Sakura Arm, you can't... Um, and you can't just, uh, what's the word, go back to a really far range easily using the advanced one. Uh, that's f actually, um, this does seem weird. Looks like advanced one would normally be good, but particularly with Himika, um, against Himika, uh, a trick is actually to advance too. Um, although it doesn't look as efficient, the extra aura is actually extremely helpful. Yeah. Uh, more than you would think. Um, you mean cause triple your aura, but there is no late. punish here. Yeah, there's no punish here though. Dark pulse could come down with two actions, right? Yeah. Yeah, dark pulse could come down. Nope, not happening. Okay. I didn't. Quite F1. catch everything that the breaker did, but I don't know about vivacity there. Yeah, I wasn't. I, the point of view was a little off for me, but yeah, vivacity is a deceptive card as well. Uh, the card appears to be better than it usually is. Okay. Whoa! Playing vivacity for the one bigger, the uh, same as discarding it, Just uh, letting uh, your opponent know you have it. Oh uh, yeah. That's yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, a good um, uh, beginner trick is that getting a Vigor is functionally the same as discarding it for a basic action. So keep that in mind, guys. See right there? He could have just discarded the Vivacity to focus one. So Vivacity only has very specific uses. Because if you're just using it for the Vigor that you're going to spend on a turn, it's functionally a dead card. Um, the only time that it's not a dead card in that is situations A, if you're playing Tokoyo, B, if you're playing Himika and using it to get Inferno, an yeah. Inferno proc, and three, right if your that. opponent is very reaction heavy, and again, this is particularly with Tokoyo as well, your opponent is very reaction heavy, and you're trying to shred through normal reactions. You can also use it to so. get charged with Ryra. Yeah, I don't know about that though. Is that right? Is there, aren't there better tools? But I feel like there has to be better tools. Giving Ryra a, a better close range is. Effect. Yeah. Like the secondary effect. What does that mean? Relevant. Close range is what? What does that make it? Makes the. So it was one to two to. It would be a zero to two range instead of one to two. Yeah. So that's not very good then, right? The range okay, doesn't yeah, matter. We're giving, giving the Ryra attack no reactions is solid though, especially if you're doing the Wind and Thunder oh, build sure. or something. Oh, yeah, sure. I did talk about this as well. But Ryra A1 is uh, pretty disgusting uh, versus Ryra in general. Um, the thing that people, like I was uh, talking to someone who had just started playing Sakura Arms and they wanted to play Ryra um, O aggressive build. I was kind of unfortunate because I think Ryra O is more control 
um, than she initially seems. She does have some good attacks, but it's hard for her to string together a bunch of attacks just because she's simply lacking in that department. Um, her X2 card, whatever the wind and thunder, you really have to spend a lot of resources to divide your gauge. And if you do that, it's A, a later game thing anyway, and B, invalidates two specials typically with the Thunder Call Ritual and the Wind Beast Manifestation because you're splitting your gauge and usually with those two builds, you either go one way or you go the other. I don't like so. this play. This is like, okay, so plays Dark Pulse mm -hmm. and the Breaker takes it to life so he avoids losing a card, which losing a card here feels bad, but it's kind of whatever. And then uh Magnum. Puke. Oh, oh draws quick shot. Oh man. Imagine. Oh, oh. Imagine doing the Magnum and then I'm drawing. confused. Wait, what happened to the Magnum? He played the Magnum to to hit Aura. Oh the Magnum hit Aura. I missed that. Magnum hit Aura. Wow, and then, what a what and a... then he burned life and then he draw drew into quick shot, which is just Oh, that's what savage. a balls to the wall play! He knew what was exactly on top of his deck. Oh, Expert yeah, you're right. No, he yeah. did. He mulliganed for it. Yeah, that's Expert solid. Plays. That's solid. Bam, bam. This is where you regret taking that to life earlier, the dark pulse. But this is where I wish I had shoot was really good here too. Oh my gosh! And he backs up. Is he gonna back up again? Let's see what we're going to do about it. <laughs> Let's see. Not a whole lot you can do here. Um... And just, well, I think recovering here I could use. Also, for all you uh, folks out there. Um, usually holding on to Vigor is nice if you're going to come into a bigger turn because you get to string together some more resources. But especially when you're low on something and you are not, you don't really have a big upturn coming, spending all your Vigor is almost always worth it. Um, so holding on to Vigor is routes. very situational. If you got through routes and, yeah. and you're, you're thinking you're going to draw into it or something, then it's definitely worth spending your Vigor. Don't be like me and float your but, And Vigor also I think turns, turns where you're going to plan are going to pass, right? Yeah, but turns where you don't have big turns next turn, I think it's worth burning your vigor as well. Yeah, like can, right now, his next turn is not going to be very strong. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I don't think there's a reason. Like, he is there a punish here? Mm. No, I don't think so. So yeah, of I would course, be astonished. Uh, breaker just goes in here. Yeah, not with not anymore. Not after fleet footwork was uh, removed from the game, although that was before my time, so I don't know why I'm pretending like I know what that card did. <laughs> okay. Backdrop isn't worth the aura damage. Complete loss of tempo. But yeah, I think... Uh... Dark Pulse Alrighty, is going to come so in what do we here. got? We got another Dark Pulse. Do we need the Dark Pulse... What are his other cards? Are we going to Erosion this turn? No, it's too expensive. Dark Pulse, Quick Shot, Million Field, Erosion. Scarlet, good Scarlet Visions. Dark Pulse. Can you get out of this? No. We can't get out of it. You might as well play the Induce, right? Force his opponent to focus, maybe? <laughs> Give your opponent a free basic action? I mean, clear out their aura. I don't know. Or maybe force them to advance. I mean, he's getting Dark Pulse, though, right? He's just going to get Slash. What? Confused. He's, he's probably going to pull the Slash. Oh, I, think, I think he pulled the Slash here, right? Yeah. No? Confusing? Well, yeah, but... Okay. And now you, you know you you're playing around Induce, you probably aren't worried about it as much. Oh, he's getting rid of the Induce, actually. Okay. Hmm. See, I told you. I should have uh, played the Induce. <laughs> if you play the induce, then you definitely lose your other card too, though. So they're both mm. down. Your opponent gets a free basic action. Forcing your opponent to advance or focus just seems decent, right? Maybe not. See, look, wasn't forcing the advance there been interesting? Ooh, checks the bottom card. Banned. Hundred percent, just removed. 
<laughs> Redal shift uh, alt shifted his deck and saw his bottom card. Uh, him to reshuffle then. This no, nope. he's, he's keeping that knowledge. It no, it's not for psycho. Well, just reshuffle it, right? He should not have that knowledge, right? <laughs> Oh, did he peek? No, he has it. He's going to exploit it to his full knowledge and he's going to wreck his opponent. Okay. It is up a lip. Stealth reshuffled it. I think he noticed. <laughs> yes. Be like be fair, this reminds me of the time. Hmm. He's going to be really confused when he draws the card he saw on the bottom of his deck. No. All right. Uh... Three dolls, your friend, right, M4? Yeah. Two are best friends. <laughs> That's purple being jealous. Uh, yeah. Okay. M4 won't accept my marriage We're proposal. We're playing the Vivacity face up again. Even though it has nothing yes. it can combo with. Yes, I believe. Yes, this is my favorite part. Actually, it's it's strictly worse to play it face up, in in other ways too, because he has Kumasuke, which obviously would benefit from having another card in discard. Nope. You play it face up to establish dominance that you don't care. Saying, yeah, I'm gonna play this vivacity face up. What are you gonna do about it? And then your opponent's just mind blown. That's why you play it face up for to establish yeah, dominance. Virgil did not careful here. He could die to Suki Kage next turn, right? Mm, he could, but it's not there. Oh, yeah, no, he only has Kumasuke. Yeah, he he's has got Kumasuke. Uro Uro. And... Uro Uro. What was the other one? Can't remember three things. Okay, uh, Fune. Okay, Fune. Okay, yep. Yeah, very defensive specials that are well. Okay, Ruo is not really defensive, but it's not going to do much. Ooh, he's getting mooned. Two two. That's no big deal. Two two three two. It's guaranteed two life damage no matter what. Yeah. Mm, he has to back up one though. So. To get the quick shot. Why? Quick shot. Six. Oh, quick shot six to eight, not five to eight. Yep. Um, but he has he has the resources to do so. He does. Pew 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 pew. pew, 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 pew. All right, it's better to just recover from three times. Right. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. We play balls to the wall here. Taking the. We're life playing of all of our early. attack cards. Every so we're playing all of our attack Five, cards every single eight. turn. Oh, oh my gosh, that that's that, yes. See, you're just you don't go. know how to play. Pew 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 pew. Like a true musical player. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. All right. Yep. Himika. Pew pew pew. Savaging. Bam! Slam down the shadow wall for dominance. Yes, yeah, where you where you discard shadow wall because you're like, ah, okay, I guess I don't actually need this, right? No. No, you play it face up to establish dominance. <laughs> no, you keep it so you can play it face up to get Inferno in a future turn. Mm, I like the idea of just playing it now to establish <laughs> dominance. <laughs> What is recovery? You say he's playing Hibika. There is no recover basic action. It doesn't exist. <laughs> the action is bad with the usage of Hibika. You never recover. You only use it to uh, increase the distance. <laughs> I personally, I, I too. Uh... Oh, what? I also too like when my opponent asks rules questions as they're destroying me. Like, 
or have a massive life lead on me. I'm like, hey, how do I play? And it's just like they have a four life lead. Why are you so mean? Oh my god. M4, help your friend. They don't know what a recover basic action is. Do you never recover in this game before? Nope. I guess not. Wow. <laughs> I respect it. That's that's a good server that's... player there. Never use recover. All the shadow. That's something. I think he come from L99 as well. He played the L99 version, so... It so might there's no recovering in the L99 version. <laughs> He got patched no. out of the game. I mean, the keyboard is different. To make it more American, they removed the recover action, so then it turned into a bunch of sleeper-controlled JP mirror matches. <laughs> so they patched recovery out of the English version of the game. That's a good decision. So recover changed from Aura to Shadow, so that you can mm. unlock yourself. Yep. Well, in that case, you could just do uh, Aura Flare. Then. Why? Why? No. No. Nande. Nande. <laughs> Wait, what happened? He used Induce to to make his opponent get one Aura from distance instead of just discarding it to move forward himself. <laughs> it's establishing dominance. I'm telling you, there's so much dominance being established right now. It's just beyond your comprehension. Oh my god, the Shadow Wall. Just like, no, I'm taking it to Aura. Shadow. I don't even care. No, here you go. Here you go. Where's my shadow wall? This like, is, I'm disgusted. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. This is a. Uh, oh. Okay, takes it to life okay, correctly, it to life. but doesn't play the shadow wall, even though that's the perfect target for me. I would check out this hand. He's going to make you flinch I guess, with the shadow all right, wall. Right, shadow wall is okay because you get you can keep it shadow for, wall plus the, one plus for one. the steel strings. You take the steel strings to life with yes. one life and then you don't you don't trigger yeah. Russian blades. If you play that card, you will be taking a frustration damage. Just so we're clear, read all. <laughs> it's the same as a back pew, up pew, one. Pew. <laughs> That you get Inferno. It, it seems that Purple is more excited in this kind of match than like our match or any control match that I have. Pew pew! That's a bug. Because it's more fun. It's just more fun to see people just feeling out the game and learning it and doing things versus watching people who know how to play a game and just play it horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Purple's just nostalgic for when he was learning the game. He misses, I never the, learned he misses the, game. the good old days when Snake obliterated. Okay, no, here are my good old days. I played, okay, I played randomly. I played against two people. I played random matches with Snake where he would randomly pull the Megamis and I only played Sine, um, I think I played Sine. Huh. What was it? I think I was experimenting. I knew I liked Sine, and I just wanted to find someone else. So I played with Snake until I learned how to play the game, and then I played around like a hundred matches with Mengluo. And then so I went from, like, basically I started in the shadow bracket, and then I jumped up to the flare black bracket immediately. I skipped the aura bracket entirely. <laughs> like I, ju I just played only with Meng over and over again, and I lost over. I would lose like ten matches a day, and I would never even come close to winning. And then I would just tell him to explain to me why I lost, and I did that over and over again every single day until I learned to resent Sakura Arms. So now I no longer play the game, and I just commentate. <laughs> I never, I've never trained with anyone who is actually worse than me in my entire life. I've only played with Meng, so I only just lose. I just never win this game. My my win ratio in Sakura Arms is probably like around 15, 20%, if even that. It's probably less than that, actually. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> but as I said, I only play with Mang outside of like tournament. So. <laughs> 
see that one match I played against oh, them is such a highlight gosh. of how like tilting Sakura arms is. I didn't bring a gap closer, so I immediately lost the game before it started. Okay, so we were ukifuniing for <laughs> yeah. three aura for three aura. Yes. Oh, that sucks. He missed a resurge on it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Come back time. Uh, or just orlock yourself. Ha. Uh, I love Sakura arm. <laughs> yeah, any kind of enhancement would have been good to help break the aura lock, but... No. 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 They've Both players have played perfectly up until this point, I'm convinced. <laughs> Will the Magnum come down this turn? That is the big question. I think you backs it first, right? Whatever you're doing. And you can use Scarlet Visions to draw the rest of your attacks in lethal. Probably right. What is the special? He's got Vermilion Field and Scarlet Visions left. Oh no, Vermilion Field hasn't resurged. What's the other one then? Erosion, that's right. Erosion? Yes. Ah, really good choice. What's that? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is so. This could be lethal. Lethal, right? There it goes. He's drawn. You're lethal. It's time to draw. Okay. One card played. Yes, this is lethal. This card. This, this is card is lethal. That's a, that's a three three. No, 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 no. You you generate shadow and that's two to life. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's two to life. Discard. Yeah, discard shadow wall. Oh, yeah, discard. No, I actually discard magnum. This magnum. Oh, why? Oh, no, I just got back there. <laughs> this is how I feel Forest watching you. Noises. Sorry, uh, Ariad versus M4. This is my reaction to watching Ariad versus M4. <laughs> Play the Mac Shadow Wall. Mac numbers, Mac numbers, yes. Good, good. No, Shadow Wall first. Back step. Shadow Back Wall step. first. Back step. <laughs> yeah, Back step first, fine, I guess. Magnum, nope, Shadow Wall. Shadow Wall gets you one closer to your Inferno. So does Backstep, and it gets you a card. Gets you Dark playing Pulse, Shadow probably. Wall establishes dominance. <laughs> playing Shadow Wall first Shadow establishes Pulse dominance before you kill your opponent. Okay, Backstepping. Yep, that's good. Yep, there's Dark Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to move that from Shadow to Flare. <laughs> Pocket that Flare like it's nothing. And at some point, at some point, there player. was a backdraft in this hand, but it might still be lethal. Nope, I don't know what you're talking nope, about. There's no backdraft. Lethal. It is, it is lethal still. There's no way this isn't lethal. Oh yeah, they're sure. I mean, even if he he takes the Magnum to life, he takes the Dark Pulse to Aura. Oh wait, no, then he's alive, right? He takes the Dark know, Pulse to Aura, then he there. takes the three two, then he takes the two two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Any, no, any three order two goes to life. He takes the three two to life, then. And then he's alive. Then he's <laughs> dead on reshuffle. Okay, yeah, he's dead on reshuffle, but he's not dead in hand. I agree that he's dead on reshuffle. Yeah, oh, yeah. the concede? Oh, no, Dark Pulse. In how many minutes before you think you all I all F4 my match versus Wudo? <laughs> before you alt F4 your match versus Wudo? Yes. How many minutes after, do you think it'll take? Uh, deck building. After, building. <laughs> after you see the mega <laughs> Ah, that's wrong. Oh, no, it's correct. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. No, it's it too late, by the way. Although the uh, magnum would create a bunch of shadow. Uh, nope, never heard of it. I don't know. Nope, yeah. we don't bring Arunami. We bring Uro Uro, and we bring fucking Kumasuke, and you can't tell me any otherwise. Those are the specials I'm bringing for the rest of the time I play them. Yeah, okay, you're right. If you not knowing the specials, it would be better to do Magnum first because that'll make Ashen pretty easily. No. Everything that has happened in this game has been beautiful. You can't tell me otherwise. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, now he gets to reshuffle and play his traps, and then that's game. Why are you not playing Himeka Purple? You seem so excited to see me. No, oh, because I, I was just talking to Aryan before you joined. I don't like how polarizing Himeka is. She doesn't feel very versatile. Now, I know Kamui is sort of the similar way. Purple but I like the fact Himeka that Kamui has, has like, shorter range. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, I mean, it's just that Kamui just... I like the shorter range, like, attacks. Like, I don't...